The name Cassidy comes from Butch Cassidy and the Sun Dance Kid. Yeah, yeah, can you explain a little bit further? Yeah, well, it was the, we formed the band in 2008 or so, and literally formed the band a week later, Paul Newman died, and we were reading it in the newspaper, and we were kind of like, oh, it's Paul Newman, it's one of those names that you kind of recognise, we don't know. And I found out it was, uh, he was in The Sting, which is one of my favourite movies, when I was growing up and things, my mum and dad always used to show me it, and um, yeah, we just kind of got into more of his movies, because we rewatched The Sting, and then I think Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid was just one movie that we kept on putting on repeat and any time after a rehearsal we just put it on and watched, watched the film, you know. And uh, I, I guess it just kind of stopped, we were like, why don't we just call it Van Cassidy? You couldn't have really called it Terry and Terry. Yeah. <laughs> Colour of mine. <laughs> Colour of mine, no. And then, and then <coughs> it was just changed from a C to a K to, to there being an American rapper in America. Uh, obviously, it's called Cassidy <laughs> Whiskey. I've had so little sleep. Attention. <laughs> yeah. You tried collaborating? Attention. Oh, to you know what? Bring Cassidy to Cassidy. Ah, Potentially, but you know what? Like, he's been, the, he's been kind of done for manslaughter, so I'm not going anywhere close to Cassidy Whiskey. If you're watching, we love you. <laughs> Do you take like, many of your musical influences from the Glasgow sort of music scene at all? I mean, it's quite a lot of Scottish bands that have, have come out there. Yeah. Not, not from the early days, anyway. I mean, like, you've kind of... You've not been made to kind of, like... Look, look at, I think the most influential thing about Glasgow is that... Um, there's a, in Scotland, is that there's so many amazing bands that have come out of there, and, mm -hmm. it's, and it shows that people like that. That's influence, mm -hmm. influential because it shows that you, we have the ability to do that. Mm -hmm. In a way, like, you know, you've got, like, you've had... Orange Juice, you've had Paolo, you've had like, but even Biffy Claro, you've had, they're not like, we're not influenced by Biffy Claro, you know, we're not, but um, it's influential in a way that it's, it's good, like people obviously like Scottish music, Franz Ferdinand, Travis, Sons of Daughters, they're all bands have done pretty cool. So. You're not, you never struggle to, to be entertained by the Glasgow music scene, because there's always, there's always so many new bands coming out and in different kind of bands as well, you know, you don't get a lot of semi bands. Uh, it's different, different fields of music and Glasgow and stuff. But we just mainly get influenced by one another. And we're the first one we're to listen to. And we take, we take taste for each other. And clothes, jokes, steel power. <laughs> cool. But the Glasgow scene is very vibrant. Uh, and it is good. Always, good always, luck. always on the move. But that's pretty much it. We want, we want to, we want to try. Like we love, we like, can't tour about and stuff. Like just where you're from, you're kind of like, could fall into a stuck bit where you can't, you're not that interested in it, mm -hmm. you know, you want, we want to, it's not like we're not doing, it's not like a lot of movement, it's just, I think, like, don't want to get in Glasgow. I think any them. music scene would be made a hundred times better if you keep smoking venues or them. <laughs> I, was just, I was just sitting for yeah. like, yeah. I just, I always take a wheel bundle about the room and I just notice my Paul Moe packet sticking <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it wouldn't it be great if I could just light one up right now? Um, I'm sure you wouldn't mind, you know? I wouldn't, I'd smoke, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we could both, we could have a chat. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> 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 Draw the curtains over there. Yeah, it's getting deep in there. <laughs> Your beards have become quite a talking point amongst your fans. Uh, has this got anything to do with you being stuck in the studio for the last year or so? I think it's quite funny because, like, like any time I hear that comment, right, I'm, I'm kind of getting bored of laughing at it now. <laughs> but, like, any time I hear any comments of beards or facial hair, I always look about and I'm like, there's so many beards in this planet. Like, there's so many beards. Like, see if you just think about it in ten days. See if you just spend four hours on a busy street in your hometown. Just look at every passerby. So many beards and so much long hair kicking about. Because yeah. you've got guitars, it's some kind of focus point. Yeah. And it seems like a preconceived. Right, we're going to start this band. Right, it's going to be four of us. Wait for this one. It's going to be all acoustic. We're going to have beards. <laughs> right. What do you think? Make sure you've got long hair. Long well. hair. Like, it's impossible. Yeah. It's impossible to plan everything like that. 
course. Sorry, I just raised my voice there. Sorry. Passionate. It's because I need a fag, you know. So I was talking about tobacco. Um, I just like having a beard. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll probably will have a beard if I get to the stage of growing up that I can properly grow a beard. I'm trying just now, but I'm more than like it. Yeah, I would, I would have a beard if I could, but I, my face is just too ridiculous. Every man in the world would have a beard. Yeah, like, yeah. it's such a it's just manly thing. Like, yeah, I would definitely have one. I've got a birthmark. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Awesome. Yeah, sorry to have to ask you that. No, 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 no. I feel, I feel like no, no, but at least she asked in a nice, a nice way. Some people just go. So what about the beards? Well, I'm boxing raw. Scott, so you're a four piece. Yeah. Yes. Um, who will sing? All play guitar. Mm -hmm. yep. Probably been asked this before, but who's the best singer and who's the best guitarist? Oh. I don't know. I'd say Chris is. Uh, I'd say Barry. Oh, I see. No one does. <laughs> Like we're all just fighting at each other. Now. Yeah. So I'm not looking at him. But everybody has a role. Like, like, <laughs> everyone's got a role. Like Chris is a lead guitarist, right? Like Barry's like like where where you can you do hooks and like blues licks and stuff. Like I try and do it together with right? this. I link into the song, so I'll do that. You're like pure it's and, and funky, sort of like high up things. Singing wise, like you're saying like a. I can like so. Black with, the four, right, with the four worst singers on the planet, but, but together we're unstoppable. Mm -hmm. I think that's that respect as well that you kind of have for each other that it's makes it work. Yeah. Yeah. But I can make my guitar sing. Like Thanks, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. His guitar is the best. Yeah. Yeah. My guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the key features in, in Ronnie Woods, like yeah. if he separated their guitar playing, when it's nothing that, without each other, be that good. But together, though. Yeah. 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 Like, was, yeah. yeah. It's like a, yeah. Everyone's got a different role and a different thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So just keep it in That's a rubbish. Who who does the most songwriting? Or do you do you just oh, write it? Just a bit of it. Oh, cool. <laughs> Someone comes up with an idea and then we all um, t work on that idea. Take it to bits and yeah, I was looking at is whoever's doing what in stage, they've, they've more likely came up with what they're doing. So if, if someone's doing a part, they came up with that part. With so that's the way I was looking at it. Unless they look uncomfortable on stage, then they're oh, caught by the other <laughs> end. <laughs> no. If you, if, you, if you see a metaphorical question mark above her head, you know, <laughs> kind of confused look, then you know that. Well, you, know that. Uh, you talk about a lot about sort of when you're on stage, you obviously prefer the kind of on stage side of music than the recording side. Well, oh, no, uh, not so really. I mean, I think. I think it's, it's just because, like, like, we've got a studio coming in. A house, and so yeah. whenever we're about, we just kind of play yeah, a record live stuff, and stuff. Yeah. we always mess about with just getting better recording. But it's been so, well, it's not been so long, but it's been a while since we've been on tour, so mm -hmm. I think the cinema is subconsciously we're wanting to go back out on tour. It's, it's quite frustrating when you're just waiting. For yeah, time. I mean, we've already done five shows this year or something like that, and that's like already the third month of the year. Like in three months, we play five shows, five, six shows. So we're, we're gonna, going to we're going to we're, we're losing, going to lose our life. So so playing <laughs> shows I reckon like so that's exciting. Since you said that story, I'll tell you. It was our uh, stage manager's birthday. The guy comes on tour, make sure that we're all right, and we were in uh, France, traveling to Switzerland, and uh, it was. His birthday that night, we went out for his birthday dinner and like treated him to some food and all that and uh, obviously everyone got a wee bit kind of drunk and his idea was this whole, oh we should try and make our way back to the hotel ourselves uh, while being naked and just kind of going for it, you know? And so we were uh, not not one to ruin a, a good time, we were just like, yeah sure, on you go. And uh, they were gone for about three hours, three and a half hours. The hotel was like five minutes away. Yeah. You're watching winkball.com.